doing right, making a video. Shouldn't be though. Lovely day outside. I mean, just 90 degrees, sunny. Oof, even too hot, too hot. So I came inside. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll do one more physics video on the Amendum channel, then I'll put this stuff back on the physics channel. So no big deal. Uh, you should it shouldn't kill you people. Um, so yeah, no no rational comments, of course. Uh, this clown guy posted some interesting video. I wonder what Professor Frink would say about this. I don't know who that is, Professor Frink. But obviously, you're just a useless asshole. I hate clowns. I really goddamn hate. So I've learned to fucking hate them with a passion. <laughs> yeah, I really fucking hate clowns. Uh, it's just an insult. I mean, humans are already undignified enough. You don't need people being undignified on purpose. It's just... It's just yeah, who the fuck needs this shit? Um, so Roberto guy, Roboto, two guy, Mr. Roboto, pussy, just pussy all over the place. Your theory is not wrong. Instead, it's not even wrong. <laughs> he posted a link to not even wrong on Wikipedia. Wow, that's just so not very interesting. It's not an argument, pussy. Pussy, 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 pussy. Yeah, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna destroy your little god. The little god of the quantum, the little fairy of your time travel, and your little magical, whatever, you know, bullshit space, your, your hyperspace. Yeah, all that shit, all that Star Trek shit's going right down the crapper. The fucking universe has no goddamn hope, alright? <laughs> because it's losing photons every fucking goddamn day. And it's just leaking gas, uh, leaking oil, you could say. And, uh, yeah, it's all doomed. Ha 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 ha. I'll demonstrate it to you pussies. Alright, anyway. I wrote my diploma thesis on the mathematical description, on the mathematical description, I don't know, the mathematical description, I mean, there's only one, of mobile communication channels based on measurement campaigns we did. Measurement campaigns, hyphenated. I don't know. Um, <laughs> cool. Who cares? Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't care. So what, you're an authority on what? Physics, then? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, you should call those who disagree. You shouldn't call those who disagree with you assholes. I don't, I'm not, I'm not calling people who disagree with me assholes. I'm calling people who slander me assholes. And that's all you fuckheads do. You don't make a goddamn fucking argument. You just throw fucking insults, you fucking cunts. And then I'll throw them right back in your fucking goddamn cunty face, you pompous prick. Okay, you haven't, you haven't disproven anything, you haven't argued anything, okay? It's not about disagreeing, it's about disagreeing with an argument. And you're not making an argument. You're making the argument from, somebody else says so, Feynman says so. Yeah, well, Feynman was wrong. And he was wrong for a really dumb fucking reason. I mean, he, you know, I'm sorry, but he'd be rolling in his grave when he figures out how dumb his reasoning was. Um, anyway... Then you would have a chance for feedback. Yeah, that's just a cop-out, pussy. Okay, if you can't take this much heat, okay, then you don't belong in any kitchen on goddamn fucking earth. All right? This is it. What? Somebody called you an asshole and you can't take it? You're that big a fucking goddamn pussy? And then you're going to walk around talking about what diplomas you goddamn fucking have, you little cunt? If you're going to wave your fucking diploma, then you ought to have a little bit more fucking goddamn fireproof than goddamn I can't, you know, he called me an asshole. I got to go run to mommy's pussy and try to climb my way back in. Me, 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 pussy. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway. Uh, also, you should at least know what phenomenon led to our current understanding of the world. What, yeah, what phenomenon would that be? The phenomenon was, let's make a celebrity out of Einstein. That's what the phenomenon apparently was. Okay, we were just desperate for a hero, and so they decided to turn Einstein into one. Look, the E equals MC squared thing, okay, bingo. It was about time somebody said what was obvious. Somebody, they had already been proven for a hundred fucking years. And it's about time somebody had said it out loud. Um, you know, that, that matter is energy. But they should have said it clearer. Is, with a big is, not just equals, is energy. <sighs> also, blah, 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 blah. Right now, your ideas are not worth the time of a true scientist. Well, that's why I said right in the very video you're commenting on that fuck them, okay? 
They don't have to worry about my ideas. I'll pay them fucking money. What's their price? Two thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars? I'll go up to five thousand fucking dollars for a name brand goddamn talking head on physics, okay? To put his integrity on the line, look at what I'm saying and disprove it, okay? Five thousand fucking dollars. All right? So don't talk about my, me, uh, you're doing it for me or my ideas. Let them see if they'll do it for fucking money. And if that's not enough money, maybe I can get people to contribute and pay them even fucking goddamn more to prove me the fuck wrong. But they're not going to be able to do it because they're the fuck wrong. And you're the fuck wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, two scientists for reasons that were explained to you in your videos. Yeah, yeah, and I countered those reasons. I posted you the link to the video where I actually play the Feynman clip and he says the stupid thing, which is basically his theory is if I run with a laser pointer, I can make I can I can burn uh, holes in bricks. If I run fast enough with my laser pointer, I can make the light even more powerful. That's the implications of his argument. His argument is is that I if I run fast enough into the light Okay, the light will burn. I'll get a suntan. I'll make the light stronger. That's the that's his fucking theory. Okay, that's his fucking argument. It was a fucking idiotic argument. Light does not. Photons do not acknowledge the momentum of matter. The only momentum they give a fuck about is the momentum of other fucking photons. That's the game we're in. Okay, it's a photon game. Okay, <laughs> matter is. Uh, as I stated before, any movement that matter has is an illusion. The only thing really moving are the goddamn fucking photons. You fucking, fucking creepy shit fuck. I said that like four times in these goddamn videos. There's no excuse for you to say, Oh yeah, I've made this argument that you haven't defeated. No, I've defeated your fucking argument. It's right in the goddamn nine little bullet points. It's right the fuck there. Fuck you, liar. Uh... <clears throat> I'm currently not the only one who has given up. Well, if you've given up, then why the fuck do you keep coming back to slander me, you fucking little prick weasel, you fucking pussy? <laughs> yeah. Um, I explained to you where you're wrong. Well, you haven't explained shit. Okay, so let's go to his last comment. Um, I didn't see his last comment, actually. It didn't come up in my comments. So, um, so he, he posts this shit to the, um, the Wikipedia page. And I already responded to the, there's two criticisms of this Lagrangian or whatever the fuck it is, you know, theory of photon pressure. Obviously, mine's not exactly the same as their theory, but the basic idea was is that, yes, there's photons or there's pressure from the universe that creates gravity. All right. And it was defeated in the past for two reasons. Those two reasons were, one, the fight, find an idiot reason, which is somehow photons are going to somehow generate more momentum if you run really fast at them. Um, and the other argument was that it would generate heat because there would be an energy transfer. And as I've pointed out, there is no energy transfer if all you're transferring is momentum, okay? Angular momentum. So if you're just cha exchanging direction, there is no need for any energy transfer. None whatsoever. That's how we got to the fucking moon. That's how gravity fucking works. I'd like to give you a non-gravitational example, but I can only do that if we go into outer space and we throw two pool balls at each other and I show you how kinetically, okay, there's no transfer of energy. Cue ball one goes its direction, cue ball two goes its direction, and if, there's, if they're perfect in terms of you meet them exactly on their center of gravity, they will go off at different angles and uh, as if they never met each other, and they'll be exactly what they were when they got there. They will lose nothing and they will gain nothing. No energy transfer whatsoever, just a transfer in direction. All right, anyway. Um... So here's his point. Uh, people have tried to make uh, Lesages, they're Lesages, okay, so that's, uh, that's what we got to call it, work for centuries. Oh, so that means I can't. So again, you're just like Feynman. Feynman kept saying, well, if I can't figure it out because I got, I'm the smartest man on earth, none of you shitheads are going to be able to figure it out. They kept saying that shit, okay, and you assholes keep buying that kind of crap, and that's why you're living in a world where you're living a lie. You got goddamn science and you're turned into a fucking religion, but you're wrong. Okay, there's no bent space, there's no curved space, all that crap is just that crap. There's goddamn photons and they're pushing you into the goddamn earth. The math just does not check. Well, that's a lie, okay? Feynman says in the clip I played, right? So, so, so let's, let's, you want to force me to sit there and what? Just do Newton all over again? 
Feynman concedes in the fucking video. It checks with Newton's math, okay? It fits the gravitational model. He says it's a perfectly good model, except it doesn't work. And then his explanation of why it doesn't work is because he thinks light can have extra momentum, which it can't. <laughs> you stupid fuck. He's again not no he's not thinking that Lesage wasn't talking about photons. I'm talking about goddamn photons, shithead. Alright? So anyway. Uh, what happens to the gravitational photons when they interact with mass? Well, I just told you what happens to the gravitational photons. I just said it in the goddamn videos. They exchange angular momentum. So if the photon comes in one way, it goes off at an angle. It gets scattered. Haven't you heard the word scatter? Scattering causes the blue sky, okay? Scattering causes clouds to be white. That's what scattering does, okay? It scatters, okay? So the photons come in. They scatter. There's no energy exchange. What is exchanged is angular momentum. So the angular momentum is lost on the on the graviton and it, the angular momentum of the gravitational body, the mass, is changed in the direction of the matter it's moving towards because there's an empty space on the other side. It's in a shadow. If there's equal pressure on the other side it goes nowhere. It just vibrates. <sighs> Idiot. If they were absorbed, there is an inner, where is the energy going? So again, you just pay no attention to the video. I made it clear in the video. I said it exchanges angular momentum. I said the word goddamn scattering in the very video you're fucking commenting on. What the fuck more can I goddamn... Oh no, it's a different video. But I'm sure I said it in that video too. We know that they do not bounce because there have been measurements done to test exactly that. Well, again, I didn't say they bounce. Um, of course they don't bounce. That would be idiotic. Um, it's uh, Yes, they're just like any other um, photo. Uh, I mean, uh, um, they're like any other, um, what do you call the electromagnetic spectrum photon. Okay? It's, it's, it's some things, certain things are sensitive to certain photonic pressure, right? Some things are sensitive to ultraviolet light, some things are sensitive to x-ray, some things are sensitive to different things because of their configuration. Fact is, is these gravity photons, everything sensitive to them, quite obviously. Every fucking atom on goddamn earth is sensitive to the frequency or the shape or the whatever of, a, of these gravity photons. And I'm saying they're gravity photons, I'm just saying their wavelength is so wide it's just a regular photon and it, in, and it creates gravity. Um, but there is no absorption, it just changes angular momentum. Say it again, there is no absorption, it just changes angular momentum. It changes the direction of pre-existing velocities. The fish are moving and, and it just incites more of them to move in that direction. <sighs> okay. Alright, so where is the energy where is the energy coming from to uh, repolarize, I don't know where, where I, I never used the word repolarize, the photons to create the magnetic field. I never said they were repolarized. It requires no energy to change angular momentum as I stated. And the fact that you can switch something from this to this does not require the absorption of any energy. We change the polarization of photons all the time without uh, involving any energy transfers. You don't need to transfer energy to change polarization. So you can change the configuration of a photon without any energy exchange. It's just a truth. It's a fact. You're wrong. Uh, they are neither absorbed nor bounce. Well, again, yeah, yes, that's right. They, they interact, they exchange angular momentum, and they leave. How is it that mechanism similar to your gravitational model? How is that mechanism similar to your gravitational model? I, I, don't, I don't need to, I'm just saying that the, the idea of magnetism is the, it's the fact of the photonic pressure that's causing the movement of the magnets, okay? The magnets wouldn't move towards each other except for the photonic pressure, and the photonic pressure is, is doubled or magnified by the fact that there are these two kinds of uh, photons and one kind one pole is sensitive to and one kind the other pole is sensitive to and they create the exact thing the other side is sensitive to so one kind goes right through them the other kind they convert into the kind the other kind is sensitive to so they're, they create double attraction and double repulsion. 
<sighs> the possibility of repulsion. Uh, anyway, look, I made a video on the magnetism thing. If you don't understand it, then ask some kind of direct question on that subject, on that video. But this is just bullshit. So anyway, you're a fucking retard. <sighs> Ooh, here's another comment I hadn't seen. Yeah, cool. I was thinking about postulate number five. Well, I've changed them. <laughs> because energy is quantized, there is not even a theoretical possibility to measure particles without affecting them, of course. The idea that they have absolute position and momentum remains an idea that is useless. Uh, well, I think it's useless to say they don't. I think it's just absolutely useless to play your fantasy game that something called energy doesn't exist in a state. So I think that's just phantasmagorical bullshit. It's just making this crap up. There's absolutely no reason why photons can't be in a position. At least from a human perspective, there is uncertainty. Well, again, this isn't about a human perspective. It's about the fucking truth, okay? So get real. There's absolutely no need to pretend they're not, they're not in a position. Um, and there's every reason to accept that you can identify their position, but that doesn't ma make a difference. You can still have probability and know that the dice aren't doing something magical, right? You can still throw dice knowing the physics and knowing the probability and knowing that nothing magical is going to happen. But you'll still accept that there's probability because you can't know. Uh, but whatever. I think the problem understanding the uncertainty prism boils down to our intuition and that we used that we are used to linearity. Well, it doesn't matter. Again, it's about the truth, okay? And it's just idiotic to assume because the one the one thing on Earth that is unmeasurable just happens to be the one thing on Earth that is too small to measure. I mean, isn't that sort of a coincidence that should, should raise a, an eyebrow on somebody with an inquiring mind? Seems a little coincidental that the one thing we can't measure is the one thing doing magical stuff. Yeah, that should raise a fucking eyebrow. Even if we know that energy is quantized, it's still hard to accept. Well, for you it's hard, for me it's really easy. I get the idea, it's all fucking goddamn photons moving the speed of light. They get it caught up in swirly dirty patterns and we call that matter. Yeah, that all makes sense to me. A a <clears throat> little voice inside says maybe there is something smaller. Well, my voices aren't saying that and they don't give a fuck one way or the other. The point is, is what is our reality? Our reality is we evolved. We evolved out of matter and we evolved out of matter because matter gets caught up in squirrely little patterns that turn into big giant squirrely patterns. Perhaps we could create half a quanta and finally pinpoint those particles. Well, again, I no need to cut a photon in half, but good luck with that, buddy. I don't see any goddamn point in it. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with anything I'm talking about or anything I give a fuck about, so whatever. But we can't because it's against the laws of nature. Well, I don't know if it's against the goddamn law, but I just don't think you're ever going to make a knife sharp enough to cut a photon in half, so fuck it. Therefore, it's a waste of time and even a dream about full certainty. Well, I think we have enough certainty. The point isn't about whether we have certainty. The point is, is whether we have a right theory. And if you think goddamn space is bent and that time is distorted by the bent space, well, that's kind of bullshit. And I guess it's a lie and it's just as bad as a God theory and it's crap. And so we ought to throw that away and get into the, you know, reality bucket. You know, let's jump in the reality bucket. So yeah, I already did this super conductor I already read these uh, shit comments. So anyway, that's enough. It's warm today. Reptiles talk faster on hot days. <laughs> reptilian. It's proof that I'm a reptilian. <laughs> yeah, that's why I know real physics. It's because I'm a reptilian. Uh, fooled you all the time. Ha 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 ha. Uh, where are the white rats at? Uh, anyway, till next time.